In order to find the balance that you've talked about with our hormones and just our overall health, how do we know when we should get adjusted? I mean, you said sometimes you don't know. What if I did get adjusted and a week later, would I know if it's time to, to go back again That's to stay question. there? I mean, how do you know? Beautiful question. Well, that a lot of times is, is your chiropractor will recommend that to you. So once a chiropractor does a full, complete examination and figures out the extent of the problem, then oftentimes we can sit back and say, okay, well, given your particular case, this is what we would recommend. We would want to see you twice a week, three times a week, once a week, whatever it is, because we'll have a better understanding of the amount of degeneration in there, the amount of inflammation in there, like what's going on, compensation wise with posture we take all of this stuff under consideration and we say giving all of this this is what we would recommend we would adjust you and we would have to adjust you again a couple of days later and then we'd have to adjust you again a couple of days later and this would take a period of time so for example let's say six to eight weeks that's retraining the spine that's retraining the nervous system because as you can imagine just like if you went to the gym right now you can't go lift weights once and gain 10 pounds of muscle it doesn't really work that way right it's unfortunate i wish we all could but if you think about it right like a lot of people in that scenario they'll sit back and say you know what i want to lose five pounds i want to lose 10 pounds right so i'm going to join a gym and then they go and they work hard for a couple of weeks and they're like i didn't lose anything the gym must not work for me that's actually not true. If you would have continued, you would have changed the body, right? That's how chiropractic is. If you come to me and there's a, there's a lot of problems going on, it's going to take me time and more adjustments to fix that particular problem. Once we fix it, then it's very easy to maintain it. No different than once you're in shape, if you've reached your physical peak, it's actually pretty easy to maintain. You don't have to go to the gym every day in order to maintain it, right? You just gotta watch what you eat and at least go to the gym a couple times a week and you can maintain whatever it is, right? But what happens even if you're in the best shape of your life? You stop going to the gym. You're like, I'm in phenomenal shape. I have 10% body fat and I am looking great. I'm not gonna go to the gym anymore. Are you gonna keep that? Of course not, right? The body is not like that. It sits back and says, okay, I'm gonna adapt to whatever you tell me. So if we're going to the gym and eating well, I'm gonna stay healthy. But if you stop going to the gym and stop eating well, I'm gonna get fat again. That's what's going to happen. Well, a similar thing happens with chiropractic. We can quote unquote fix the problem that's in front of me, but it needs to be maintained. No different than you need to maintain other aspects of your health, like the gym or like whatever else. So if I fix the problem and you're like, okay, awesome doc, no need for me to come back anymore. Well, over time, the issue is gonna to start to come back. No different than the issue of you gaining weight would start to come back. So it really depends on the problem and depends on the person, but the chiropractor who's in front of you once they do their exam is gonna say, given your particular case, I would recommend this care plan for you. And that's gonna vary a little bit from one person to another.